In this video I'm going to show you how to create Supreme Tasks in Sol V5. So as usual click Add Tasks and navigate over to the Supreme area. Before you start creating a task I would recommend going to the Supreme Guide section in the Discord where a Google Doc is posted each week, usually about 24 hours before the drop, which will include all the information you need uh, on what items are dropping that week, what category, keywords, colour, sizes, teams, etc. So I would get that up uh, and use it alongside when you're creating these tasks. So this is what the Google Doc looks like. It shows the items that are dropping, the category, the estimated retail, and then the keywords and colours. So I'd keep this to one side and then when using it to create your tasks you'll make sure you're using the best guesses of what the items are going to be that week. So first I'm going to use for example the MBA headband from the last week of this season. So this will be under accessories then under keywords it will be MBA comma headband for the MBA headband and then it came in red and black so I'll go for red. The size, because it's an accessory, I can go for one size or random. Obviously if it was clothing you could choose um, random or the actual size of the item. Restocks, uh, true or false, so if you're running on the initial drop at 11 o'clock, so the actual drop, restocks will be false because you're not running for restocks, you're running for the initial drop. Whereas if it's some time and the item's sold out and you're trying to catch it when it restocks, you'll want restocks set to true. So if it's 11 o'clock, you want it false, or if it's sometime after, once the product's sold out and you want it to come back in, it'll be true. ATC delay and checkout delay. This is the only mode within Sol where you can choose the delays actually within the task. So um, you can. what I would recommend you to do is do different tasks on different delays, as some weeks lower delays will work best and some, uh, some weeks higher delays will work best depending on the severity of the Supreme Antibot this week. So I would recommend the ATC delay to be anywhere between 20 and 200 milliseconds and the checkout delay to be between 0 and 5000 milliseconds. So if I was running multiple tasks for this, I'd run some really low, for example 100 and 500, and I'd run others higher, for example 200 and then maybe 3000. Proxy groups will be what proxies you want to use um, for Supreme. So for Supreme you'll want residential proxies as data center proxies are banned. So make sure beforehand you've created a proxy group within the proxies tab for residential proxies. Um, you don't actually need proxies if you're running Supreme on your home IP. They don't ban very often so if you're doing between 5 and 10 tasks on your home PC then you'll get away with running without proxies so you can choose a no proxy option. But if you're running more than 10 tasks or if you're on a server you'll need residential proxies. If you don't know how to use the proxies tab refer to the proxies video in this playlist. You can then choose your profile which is pretty straightforward. Remember you can only uh, purchase one of each item per profile. So if I wanted three headbands for example I need three different profiles because I can't physically check out three on the same profile. And for timer I usually like to set it for 5 to 10 seconds before the drop so I'll usually set it for 10.59.55 just to account for if it does drop a few seconds early. Once you've set up you can choose how many tasks you want with that particular setup and add tasks and as with any other you can start them with the green buttons here or start all. You can duplicate tasks by right clicking and duplicating and you can mass edit down here if you need to change the keywords or the URL or if you want to change the retry and monitor delays. Remember if you do get a checkout failure you can right click the task and view the task log. This will bring up the whole log of the of the checkout so you'll be able to send this to the devs or the support team if you do get a checkout failure and they'll be able to help you improve your setup or tell you what went wrong within the bot.